My name is Peter Hurley. I'm a headshot photographer based out of New York City. I created the website Headshot Crew as a place for headshot photographers to hone their craft. So many of my students are kicking ass in their local markets and it means so much to me knowing that I gave them the tools and the knowledge to get where they are. In this series, I'm gonna be traveling around the world to meet some of these photographers on their home turf. This is the Headshot Crew Studio Series. Hey guys, I'm here in Arnhem, in the Netherlands, Holland, yep. <laughs> with Maurice Jager. How cool is this? Oh my gosh, for a Headshot Crew Studio Series with a guy that's been me, with me for quite some time. He's been, a, he's been a force of nature on the Headshot Crew since he got involved with it. He's helped me a ton. He's helped me run the business for quite some time. Uh, he's continually building his business and his brand and what he's doing here in the Netherlands. And he does travel all over the world doing all sorts of stuff. And uh, I'm just excited to be able to bring you guys different photographers from all over the world that have made headshots their thing and figured out how to make a ton of money at it. And he's one of them. So it's pretty cool to be here with you. Thank you. Well, I'm glad to have you here. Yeah. This is the first time you're actually in my studio and we've been running around since like, what, 2013? So yeah, we just figured that out. So yeah. You joined the Headshot Crew in August of 2013. It yeah. is now September 2019. So six years. Uh, you've been around and you also, this is a, a fun fact, people, on September 4th, what year? 2014. You went associate. Yep. So, so I'm on my five year anniversary of being a five associate. Five years today. Yep. Five years today. Yeah. How it, cool is It that? looked like we planned this and it is actually pure co coincidental. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So, um, for those of you that don't know, we I coach the Headshot Crew, and if you're seeing this studio series for the first time, what we're doing is we're running around and and getting photographers, to, talking to them, finding out what they're what they're doing, how their businesses are going, and that kind of thing in all areas of the globe, who are specialists in headshot photography, and most of them are associates on the Headshot Crew or mentors on the Headshot Crew. He happens to be a mentor on the Headshot Crew. He's helped me run it for years. He's got a little moniker called the deputy because I was supposed to be the sheriff and he was supposed to be the deputy. And, I, did and I didn't ever, sh I never shot you. <laughs> so the never deputy did. never shot the sheriff. No, he never shot I don't, the I, sheriff. This came up uh, during um, the headshot cruise that we did in 2016. Uh -huh. And there was this like, okay, you help me run this thing and you need a different title. So uh, at the cruise, we asked people like, what should my title be? And there was this little, like people thought about this during the cruise and at the end of the cruise, someone, I, I don't even remember who, really? came up with like, you should name, it, name yourself the deputy and that's no how this came about. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I thought you came up with that. No, no, no. I, it's, if anybody, if, if you're okay. watching and it, this was you, <laughs> make yourself present because I, I know yeah, I want to know. know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. So yeah, so we've kept that on there for years. Um, and, but the thing is that I get to run around the world and do this with people. And I started this Headshot Crew idea back, it actually started in like 2007 when I was trying to figure out how to get, people would contact the studio and they'd want a headshot, but I, I'm rather expensive. And they'd hang up the phone when they heard my price. I was like, how can I do this cheaper? And then I brought a photographer in, trained them on how to do what I do. And that evolved into a huge thing on me going, wait a minute, if I can do it in my studio, I can do it all over the world. So I've trained photographers worldwide on how to do this. And we have a recipe that just works. The recipe works. People are making money. I mean, you've jumped in full bore. You started out. I believe that we met in the Headshot Intensive Online. Is that wrong or is that, did you start there? That's the first time I did a coaching program with you. Um, I was on the site before that and then you came up with the, like I was looking into coming to New York because you were only doing intensives in your own studio in New York back then. I was like, yeah, well, it's like, there's a big pond of water in between us and it's like yeah. a little, uh, heavy to like get there and figure all that stuff out. And then you came up with the online version and you did two back to back and I was either on the first or the second. And that's when it all started. And then we did an in-person intensive while you were here. And I'm a Lord at Frank's studio. Yep. That was probably, I don't know, 2015, 2014, like somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah. And that pretty much started the business. Yeah. Yeah. 
Very cool. And now you, you specialize in mostly, what do you do? Mostly corporate stuff. I know you're running around. Are you shooting a lot in here? By the way, this is a studio series. We're, we're going to talk about Maurice's studio. And, um, and well, let's go for that. So what do you mostly predominantly shoot? Um, I think about 90% of my business is uh, headshots, um, either here uh, or on location at corporations. Um, I think I shoot more here. Um, uh, Time-wise, volume-wise, I shoot more at co corporations because you just like shoot like I don't know forty people a day. So yeah. um, if I go into my capture one and just like tally the shots, it's probably fifty-fifty. But I spend most of my time here. Good. Okay. Cool. So when did you when did you get this studio? This is a cool little space. I like it a lot. I like the fact. The first thing I noticed when I came in is it's got concrete floors that are gray that are re a really nice tone on them. But we got a black ceiling, and I always you know i've always shot with white ceilings actually my studio in los angeles when i had it had a gray ceiling and it had a gray floor and i used to get great shots out of that i i think sometimes when you have all white around you get a lot of flare and stuff like that so it's really nice to have a black ceiling. the first thing when i walked in i asked him how did you, did you paint this black right <laughs> yeah that's what he did <laughs> and actually the photographer that i uh, that had this space before i started like shooting in here uh, back in November 2013, I think. Uh, he painted all of this. So he, uh, he, had a, he had the ceiling black or he painted it black. There's, a, the, the, there's one wall that is black that I'm shooting towards and then all the other uh, walls are white because uh, it makes the room a little bit more airy and not like me working a black box of walls pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Like, so yeah, I've been here six years almost. Yeah, cool. So like everything kind of like started for me in 2013 and like me starting to work with you, me getting this space because I was shooting up out of my house with like a ton of like cheap knockoff uh, on camera flashes that I softboxed and like I had, I, I probably spent more on batteries than I did on these flashes because yeah. they like, they eat power. It's like, it's nuts. So I had, like, I, I went on to location with these things and I had six of them, four to shoot like the square thing, and then two for the white background. And I probably brought like 120 batteries. And, it oh just, my God. and I had like one bag of like charged batteries and then I brought an empty bag so I can just like pop them out, put them in another bag and just grab a couple more. Wow. And then I started working with some studio strobes and now I'm shooting the flex kit. So cool. there's like a evolution. little uh, progression and evolution into yeah. the gear. Yeah. Cool. Well, other if we get on the gear now, you're a Canon shooter, right? Yep. 5 DSR. Yep. Mostly. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. 5D Mark IV. Yep. For video and backup and stuff like that. Yeah. I know you're doing a lot of video content of yourself. Yeah. And you're also uh, teaching a little bit here and there. You've got a course. Uh, why don't you talk about what you're doing? Uh, I learned and found out that a lot of people like post headshots and post their work, and a lot of the stuff that they say about these shots is like, I had a great session with Jimmy or I'm shooting this against the Savage scene, like whatever, like a lot of like metadata and characteristics about stuff. And it's not really inspiring for my clients because they don't really care what my settings are and uh, what kind of stuff I'm using. So started this platform uh, called Screw the Metadata and we created a LinkedIn course on that platform to help people uh, tell more stories about their clients and give people the opportunities to really um, like interact and put themselves in the shoes of the person that was shot. So it's more, these people feel more like, okay, I can, I can see myself. I, I, I am this person. I need a picture like that and like built around that. And that's been going on for, I don't know, close to a year now. And that's been like gradually building and that's pretty cool. Cool, good for you, that's great. So the, out of curiosity, I know I always ask people this and, and I'm always curious, I, obviously you, you're into headshot photography, but how'd you find me in the first place? Um, I, was, uh, I was stuck in uh, a marketing job in an office and I was like running a CMO gig and I had like 120 people working for me and I was just so tired of like hearing other people's nonsense and trying to fix that, I was like, what am I going to do? I'm not going to do this for the next 40 years. And I was already an amateur shooter. I shot everything under the sun. 
and I went on YouTube and I was just like learning some stuff and I ended up seeing your presentation at the Google Plus Photography Conference back in, I don't know, 2012. Mm -hmm. And I saw that and I was like, this is interesting. And then I started like Googling headshots and see if there was like anybody doing this particular kind of photography over here. And I learned that my competition is gonna be people who wanna learn how to take a headshot in Call of Duty and all of these like shooting games. I was like, holy schmoly, there's like nobody doing this. And you're, you're back then it was a lot of like actors, models and like all of that. And we don't have that much of an actor model community over here. So I figured, okay, well, these actors have uh, one problem, which is making an impression in like a split second uh, with their comp cards. And I felt like, okay, entrepreneurs and business owners and people who are presenting themselves uh, with their intellectual property, they have this same problem because their LinkedIn was coming up and there's like people are just like very visually focused and they just look at images. So I adapted what you were doing back then and just like went full bore corporate. And that's how it started. So I reached out to, I don't know, 20 of my former C-level executives that I worked with. And I sent them an email like, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the business with the corporate stuff, with the, with the like office gig. I'm starting a business. Um, I need people. So I, I want you to come in this month. I'll shoot you for free. I'll give you a cool headshot. But the, the quid pro quo is that you'll send me five people that you know that need my services too. So the next, uh, out of these 20 people, 15 people responded, I shot 15, and these 15 people gave me like 60 referrals. They did? They and I shot, the and the next oh. month I had like 50 clients, and wow. it more or less built from that, and then I started like building my social presence and all of that, and that's when it really started rolling. But I always felt like, okay, referrals are usually the best way to they get it going because people actually experience the experience and can talk about it and become the ambassadors of the things that you do. And that's how I started. Yeah. And then it pretty much kept it rolling from there. That's phenomenal. I, I always I always think about like all of us doing this and being creative and, and doing our jobs. I think being a photographer is like the coolest job on the planet, obviously. But to be able to make a living and, and support a family and, and be able to you know, shoot headshots just to, you know, as a, as the main staple of our work and be able to get it done is really yeah. cool. And you've got quite a setup for yourself. We were just over at your, at your, your place, which is like two minutes from here. Yeah. Right. And you've got a, you've got a like two minute commute or whatever, and you've got a cool little quaint little studio that works. This thing is the perfect size for a headshot photography. You can do yeah. portraits in here. You can, you can get it all done and you got a good lifestyle going on between between the two and then jumping in the car and traveling you fill your car with a flex kit and some of the gear that you have and you're off yeah. and running um i think it's just pretty 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 awesome that you're able to do that great and i want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to have this lifestyle because if i hadn't stumbled upon your video and we haven't hadn't been working together this would never have happened yeah. so it's uh, like i've been given opportunities by you like to teach at the Headshot Mania, the Headshot Cruise, present myself as, a, as an expert in the business. And like this, none of this would have happened if the Headshot Crew didn't exist. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, cool. it's, that's how it uh, came about. And then it's, awesome. it's a matter of just putting the nose to the grindstone and getting things done. And it's, it's really is like the amount of effort you put into it, it's what you get out of it. And then with the coaching and the, the, the community around the headshot photography on the site is what uh, is uh, fantastic and like makes you not be the solo photographer because being a photographer can be a lonely gig. Like it's, yeah. oh, it's all about you. It's like you sit at your computer, you stand behind your camera, you have an occasional client come in, but end of the day, it's you. Yeah. And having those like-minded people around you that pretty much suffer from the same problems is really cool. Yeah because that makes you feel part of the team. That's great, that's great. And you're going over to Photo Plus to speak or to judge, right? Yeah. To judge as well, that's cool. Yeah, I've been asked to do the portfolio reviews at Photo Plus Expo this upcoming year. That's great, and yeah. you're an ambassador for some uh, different products. Do you want to talk about that? Like I am an ambassador for BenQ. So I'm, uh, I, I started out being a color management expert because like 
this comes back to your coaching. This is so funny because I, my biggest problem when I was uh, creating my portfolio to become associate was that my colors were a mess. Like I had like pink on this side and green here and like was all sorts of weird toning. And you gave me some uh, nice feedback on that to put it like that. And uh, I figured it out and I trained my eye to see those colors actually and adapt for them. And then I met up with uh, people from BenQ and it kind of like gradual thing like okay you you your colors are cool you need a good screen to like sh look at um it needs to be calibrated they're all over here they're hardware yeah. calibrated so the eye, eye display pro by x right is awesome and i stick it into the monitor and i know exactly what i'm looking at so the fault in my shots is on me and not the gear i'm using so this is cool so we got three ben Qs right behind us here yeah like three of them yep look there's three, three of them rocking yeah three ben Qs. I like yeah them. It, awesome. I, I have a wall of monitors, so it's, uh, yeah. it's cool. You're also a fan of my tripod oh, yeah. situation that yeah. I got going. You guys all know, you probably know by now, I'm a huge fan of Faisal, and he's been doing stuff with Faisal Europe lately, right? Yeah. Yeah, you introduced me to Faisal uh, at Photo Plus, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And I got my Faisal, my uh, 3472, uh, not the Mark II, I have the Mark I, but uh, Faisal started to... Um, start a market in Europe and they reached out to photographers who are already using Faisals and so they found me so now I'm a Faisal ambassador on this side of the planet so I'm using the the same one as you are using and I have a nice, nice little monopod that I can turn into a tripod and for video I use the video ball head that they uh, make I'm a Tether Tools Pro mm -hmm. which is Pretty awesome. That, that was pretty much one of the first ones. And Tether Tools. They, Tether Tools has a nice little uh, collection of ambassadors and me being on a page with like the Joe McNally's and the Kelby's and you and like all the That's people cool. that I used to look up to. It's like really something cool. It's like, holy moly, I'm Very like, cool. I'm on there. Um, I'm a Fodix Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, Fodix reached out to me at some point, like you need some flashes. So I was like, yeah, sure, I can fire up some flashes. And so Fodix hooked me up with some uh, cool gear. What are you using them for? The background? Uh, I use them for my background and I shoot um, some on location things for entrepreneurs and expert driven business owners who want to have more storytelling on location, like, like images that are like shot in a coffee shop or shot in, a, in an office or like yeah. more of the lifestyle kind of thing. And that's when I fire these up. That's cool. That's cool. So. Go back and just tell me, like, why portraiture? Like, how'd you get into shooting people? I, I, like, I, sh when I started as a photographer, I was, like, I was shooting everything. And I always felt like, okay, portraiture is, like, a cool thing. And I wasn't necessarily the most confident person, like, shooting somebody. And, like, especially headshots, it's, like, there's not much to work with except, like, shoulders and the face, and which right. is, like, very important. I, I always did things that are challenges. Mm -hmm. Like I grew up being an athlete, being a soccer yeah, you were professional, a soccer player, weren't you? Uh, yeah, until my knees got like messed up and they kicked me off the team. And I was always like trying to like be the best at something. And then in the corporate world, I had that same kind of mentality. And then with photography, I felt like the most complicated thing for me to do is like shoot somebody in the face and make them look good. So I went for the thing that was pushing me as far away from my comfort zone as I felt like I could potentially get because I felt like I could, I could go sit in some landscape and sh shoot a mountain or something, but that didn't feel like something that would work for me. I was like, I don't, I don't have the patience for it. And shooting people and making people happy with my camera was more of the thing that was more important to me. Very cool, very cool. Well, it's good to see that it's happening. I would do have a question. So if you could go back and think to that day where you walked out of that CMO job to pick up a camera full time, is there any advice or anything you'd want to say to that guy who was walking out of the door and probably like that was probably a big decision in your life? And I guess you ran with it and it panned out. So is there anything that you would think of to, that you might say to that guy to say, hey, we got this? Or I would say to that person seven years ago that he should be a little bit more confident in what he's doing. 
because like starting out it's like very like oh my gosh is this gonna work is it like you feel a little insecure about what's going on just like putting the amount of work in and maybe even putting more work into it would have made it go faster to be at this point like i've been like running around the first year with some like very lackluster gear and like weird apparatuses to make it work <laughs> and like i would just like as a photographer starting a business i would do a couple of things um like find a space because me shooting outside of, out of my house and just going on location all the time is a pain in the neck when it's just like one person so i did that then i found the best uh, camera that i can work with and get one lens that does all the things and then the lighting and all of that and like then just stop spending money and just find people and you being out there is the only way that you can get clients like there's like a lot of people that go nuts on social media and run facebook ads and do all of that like i, I did that like i spent hundreds of dollars on a facebook ad and like nothing happened and then i just like started out like messaging people directly like oh my we need to like we serve a similar kind of people or like we we share the same demographic in uh, in our clientele let's work together and just find a team that with people that naturally match the people that you want to serve and when i started doing that it started to like come in because i created that those ambassadors and they just like kept sending me people over and then i just like reached out to more people that need my services and yeah. just like be out there the same what you did with like putting your book in the in the print shop or like just like get your stuff out there and yeah, yeah, yeah. make well, yourself known i mean you're a bit of a hustler too i mean you are working like yeah. you go out and do it like those types of things have always daunted me i've been like i'm not gonna go cold call people go out there and tell them hey you're i'm perfect i'm just not it's always been a hard hard for me to work on selling myself. I like my work to sell itself and then mm -hmm. people come in the door. Yeah. But um, I guess we're all salesmen at, the, at heart if we're trying to get you know people in front of our cameras. So I must have been doing that at some capacity. But you definitely took the hustling to another level in terms of the way that you do it and get companies and get them going and then keep your brand going. And, but I don't sell them. I just like have human conversations with them. I have an interaction and yeah. then I, we, I just like ask like, how's your day? And like, just have like common conversation like you would have in a bar pretty much. Yeah. And then at some point they'll ask, okay, what do you do? Okay, this. And then at, at some point I just ask like, okay, is like what I offer, is that anything that can help you? Yeah. And they usually go, yes, because you have that rapport. I'm yeah. rapport building, rapport building, rapport building. And then at some point I'll just hit the, uh, hit them with like, okay, let's set up a meeting or let's get on the phone or like something like that. Okay, you're just doing a slow process, building yeah. a rapport and then getting the clientele yeah. down the road. Hey, I remember that guy, there's a good, you need a picture, that's the guy, yeah. go to that guy. Yeah, and that's, that's why good. I focus on headshots mostly because I'm now known as the person to get a headshot or a LinkedIn profile picture done right and not cool. as a photographer. Cool. Because there are so many photographers on the planet and like, me doing like seven different things is going to put me in that, into that like pack of photographers because yeah. there's not anything specific that I solve for them. And me yeah. like being laser focused puts me on the forefront of things when they need an headshot. Right. I, uh, I, I find that that's really cool. But I also just going back, like you've helped me build the crew mm -hmm. um, and stood out from the crowd and been at mentors or people that just stand out and want to help fellow photographers. Maurice has always been helpful. And then he, then he helped me run the thing for a really long time. Um, and I'm just curious, like obviously finding, I'm glad you found me. I hope, I know you're glad you found me in the crew, but what is the, what does it mean to you being a member of the headshot crew? Like being a part of the headshot crew for me is uh, um, a thing of like giving back because there's a lot of photographers who are in my shoes six years ago. Like they want this and they need the help and they want that team pushing them forward and having that support system and having like somebody to talk to. Like I met my best friends through the headshot crew because we're all in the same mindset and in the, to the, in the same position in life, like trying to make this work. Me being able to 
uh, help other photographers with reviews or uh, just being part of a listening ear or all of that, that that's for me that's what counts and then having the referral system like people can find me on the site that's cool mm -hmm. but end of the day i think the community part is the most important thing yeah it's big it's, that is a, that is a big help yeah. um and being active in the community which he, he has been which is great well you know what he's never shot the sheriff so. no <laughs> let's and shoot a sheriff the deputy <laughs> yeah and i guess i'm considered the sheriff who came up with this we need to find you and you need to tell us who came up with this but he's gonna he's gonna take some pictures of me and uh we're gonna we're gonna show you that which will be really cool and we'll give you a little glimpse of around this really cool little studio he's got yeah. here where he's getting the job done yeah here in arnhem in the netherlands yeah. shebang <laughs> Shoot the sheriff. Right. <laughs> I need you to jam that jawline. Chin down a little bit. Chin up a little bit. Yes, that's it. I'm shooting the sheriff, people. There we go. <laughs> yeah, give me a look like you are the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, is there Focus a new on the town. All right. Nice job. It. Nice Ooh. work. Just give me be careful with the wrist. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to go all in. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's good. Yeah, we got good stuff. Good stuff, people. Maurice cool. Yager work. Shebang. Woo! That's it? Nice job. Thank you, man. Good job. I shot the sheriff, people. <laughs> <laughs> it took me six years. <laughs> I didn't, I shot the deputy. Yes, you did. Yeah, I did. I used I that did shot a today. Times, couple yeah. Times. Yeah, I got a couple sheriff shots. Headshot Crew Studio Series. Check out the next one soon. Maurice Yager in Arnhem, Netherlands. That's it. Cool. cool. Thank you. To become a member of the crew and start upping your headshot game, visit headshotcrew.com.